Hello everybody, it's Sue. Tonight I am going to do a um, something different. It's a, uh, I'm going to start with a flip cup dirty pour with dark colors. Then I'm going to attempt doing a swipe. Um, and then I'm going to do um, the string technique on top of it in white. The swipe I'm going to do in a very probably pale pink color. Very pale. Okay, so the paint I'm going to use today is Artist Loft. For the Dirty Pour, it's going to be Artist Loft Deep Magenta. Artist Loft. Okay. Artist Loft metallic black, artist loft silver, and studio panes gray. That's for the dirty pour. Um, this color here that I'm going to try the swipe with is just um, house paint and it's a Glidden Ultra uh, eggshell. So I just got a small can of it. It was the in with the mist tints. Cost me four dollars. And then I'm just using um, Artist Loft Flow Acrylic for the string. And I've got four cups here and the string's already in there. So I've already mixed my paints. With these paints, I used about half and half, half paint, half flow troll. That's what I'm using for the um, pouring medium. Like for flow troll, and then I add water to that uh, to get the right consistency. And let's see if I can show you the consistency. It's hard to show you with at this angle, but I'm gonna try. So I don't if I lift it high enough. Well, maybe a little bit more than this. <laughs> no, you might be able to see it, but let's try it with a lighter color. Okay, and what else? Okay, I'm putting I, what I use for, um, I used a methicone to give me cells. It's a coconut milk serum. And I'm going to put maybe three drops each color. I've already put about one to two drops in the white for the string. I'm not putting any in the, actually I might put a couple in the color I'm going to swipe with, but I don't think you have to, so. Okay. It's a little hard to do it this way. Oops, that's a lot. Okay, and then I'm going to give it a bit of a stir. Not too much, just maybe a little bit. Each color that I put the coconut milk in. Seems awfully thick. I mm. hope not. I might add a little bit more water to my 
tell with black. I don't think it's... I don't think I put enough in. I'm sorry if I don't talk loud enough. I'm trying. I have a very soft voice. I'm right at the phone here. Right at the speaker. So, hopefully you can still hear me. Okay, so before I do that, before I start, I just want to show you my last pour. I did a demonstration of the different string techniques. Uh, here it is. I just want to show you, it's just pretty much looks the same dry. I did another one, but I didn't do a video because, well, I did a video, but it didn't turn out very well. But these ones turned out better for giving me cells because I have, I had more black. That's nice. More black on the, on the, the board before I did the, the string. So I didn't have enough paint on the, um, the other one. Okay, here goes. Just gonna layer them a little bit. First I put the Payne's Gray in, then I put the silver, then I put the metallic black, and then the um, magenta. So now I'm gonna do it again. Silver. And if I talk to myself while I'm doing these videos and you can't understand me or hear me, I wouldn't worry about it too much because I'm just kind of into doing the painting, concentrating, and I'm not really saying anything important. I just, you know, that happens when I do these. I just talk to myself and I forget that I'm taping, recording. So I'm learning, learning as I go. And from now on, because I've uh, figured out how to do the editing, um, I will be showing you the, I won't be posting the video until my uh, work is dry so that I can add the dried and show you how it it's dried in the same video that I'm pouring on. I, I never did that before because I did, didn't know what I was doing. I didn't know how to do it. So now I know. All right, I'm gonna flip. I'm just gonna let it sit for a minute or two. Just till it all falls down. the paint. Oh, I've got a lot of cells already. even 
without even torching or okay so now I'm going to torch it a bit my corner thing to get so that it I don't lose too much paint on the corners some of that magenta to come back and been lost a little bit of it so I'll try and go back like this to get the hopefully no it doesn't seem to be coming back too much sides a bit. Make sure there's paint on all the sides. Some of the paint off my hands. Okay, let's try and torch it again. I think I'm running out of fuel. Now, I didn't. What I didn't show you is the string that I'm using. Um, it's uh, the same kind of. It's cotton wool. It's the same kind of stuff you would use for um, knitting those uh, dishcloths. works I've never really done a, I done one swipe a long time ago I haven't done one since so what I'm gonna do uh, I'm 
just going to put some along the, the edge here and then I'm going to um, dampen a paper towel and then I'm just going to swipe this way. Let's hope it works. If not, I'll be wiping it off. Okay, so I don't want too much on here, so I'm just going to somebody do a swipe before with a paper towel. I like the results so I'm going to try it myself. I believe it was Karen Goodrich. contact. Here goes nothing. Oh, wow. I really like that. Let it do its work before I do the string. I think it pulled too much off at the bottom here, so I don't know what to do about that. I sort of fixed it. It's a little better. Alright, so I'm going to do the string now. do before I do the string, I'm going to just zoom in a bit for you.
think I'm just going to do a zigzag. So I zigzag or no, I'm just going to go back and forth in loop, like loops. And pull. Okay, the next one. Same thing, might do just a little bit higher up. I thought I had room for four, but I only have room for three, so I'm gonna try. I'm gonna go the other way. Oh, and I dripped on it. That's okay. Do one right here. Whoops, I have to do it now. <laughs> Let's try just a little one. Whoops. Another little one. about here. I'm going to try and just fix this a bit, maybe just bring it down here a bit there. At least it doesn't look like a blob anymore. Okay. I don't know if I need any more. Or what? Do I need any more? If I add any more to it, 
it would start to look mucky, muddy. I'm just going to put the heat gun on it again. lights here is not very good. I'll try to just show you a close up. getting a bit of glare from the light above. I have to figure out how to how to not get that next time I do a video. So I like it. It's really subtle. So that's it. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, subscribe if you can. Hit the like bucket button and uh, the bell if you want to see more of my, my videos. So thank you again and have a great day. Bye bye. So this is uh, my painting dried. It's fully dried now. It's dried nice and smooth. I just wanted to show you uh, how it dried. It pretty much stayed the same as when it was wet. So um, I'll just kind of zoom in a little bit for you and get a little bit closer so you can see. Lots of cells going on here. Okay, so that's it then. Thank you for watching again. Bye for now.